So welcome ladies and gentlemen, today, yeah, we're gonna get our first glimpse at some PES 2019. So there was a couple of things out yesterday. Uh, we had sort of a YouTube stream from the official PES channel, and then after that, Adam Batty went on IGN and he showed this matchup. Now this was the better, I feel, of the two live streams. Now this is 60 FPS, um, it's not the greatest quality, let me tell you, watching this live stream in proper HD as opposed to sort of YouTube quality and everything else, it looked a lot cleaner. So do not take anything from this graphic wise, because the final product will be far superior. So if you're going to say it looks like shit, etc, yes it does, because it's blurry and it's out of focus and it just doesn't look the part but generally trust me the live stream looked phenomenal anyway we're going to dive into the gameplay we're going to talk about it uh, you know about eight or so minutes and first things first there's a quick look at the quick substitutions the good thing about that compared to fifa and i don't know if they've changed it in fifa 19 though is you can pick from a multitude of different players on fifa 19 you only get one player to choose from when it comes to a quick substitution on pairs you can quickly change to other players in the same sort of position which is nice now i'm not going to sit here and slag the game off i'm going to try and stay away from that this year of over criticizing over complaining you know i just i don't feel there's any need for it if you want to play pez you'll play it if you don't you won't you've got two football games to choose from pez comes out you know four weeks or so before fifa if you want to play it buy it if you don't like it then don't play it but i have to say watching from the stream you know looking at it and i analyzed it a lot and went over a lot of details it looks far better than pez 2018 and you know what we say that every year don't we we say 17 is better than 16 and 18 is better than 17 but something about this code and i really hope that konami do not change it from sort of pre-release like now to release we've seen it numerous times where people play the game they love the e3 build and then konami decide they're going to change it they're going to speed it up or they're going to make it you know a passing a little bit crisper and there's less mistakes i don't know why they do it leave it alone if people like the e3 build then fine let it slide so i really hope they do keep this build and just polish it up immensely uh, before it is released so there's not long to go um, I mean, here's a chance with Coutinho, came down the right-hand side, Carriers came out, he made a decent save there with the, the left palm. Now, the first thing I will say, you watch this, is the grass, the textures, the lighting have taken uh, a step up. They Ultimately, if you watch this compared to FIFA now, they do look a little bit more similar. Uh, I don't think it's there quite in FIFA regard when it comes to the lighting and everything else. So basically, yeah, the lighting looks better. They're using this new Enlighten engine, and you can see that. You can tell the graph, grass actually looks 3D-like. Big, big difference from what we saw last year, where everything just looked like carpet, uh, and I wasn't a huge fan. Other little things to talk about. Um, you'll see a lot of errors. Uh, there's been a lot of straywood passing. I'm going to probably say they're playing on level 1 support, which is probably default. And, you know, there's a lot of times where the passing has gone astray. It's a slower pace game. I mean, you look how slow this is. Um, it's a nice pace, you know. You can play possession football. I don't know if you guys did watch the live stream there on YouTube where the Midnight Kid, of course, have to give him a shout out from Pez University in a... Did a good job there of uh, giving his opinions and playing up against Asim, who's obviously played PES 19 a lot more than Barry has. Um, but yeah, if you, if you watch that, then you would know that the game just plays slower, and Barry was playing a lot of possession. He was passing it about, and he even said himself, completely different game to PES 2018. You've got to start, sort of learn the ropes again uh, and start again. Now, the menus, you know, saw a quick look here. They're still the same. They've got rid of that ridiculous color they had last year with the greens and the purples. It's still not up to par, but you know what? I've given up really worrying too much about the menus for Konami. They don't really want to modernize it up a whole lot. They've got rid of the, the silly colors. They've got the basic menus back, um, and I just don't think the menus are ever really going to get modernized up unless they completely change the direction it's going. But overall, it's promising. It's very promising. Uh, it, you know, look, at the end of the day, it's not a new engine. They're using the same engine from 2014. At some point, yes, they are going to have to change it. Um, and then you'll start to see 
a different kind of game with obviously a different engine. But do not expect leaps and bounds. This is a lovely goal here. Nicely worked. Messi lets it roll through. Look at the net physics. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you that wanted those net physics improved, they certainly have done that. Um, nice bit of movement there when Messi slotted it home. The snow effects, I mean, they showed that in one of the games as well. Uh, Liverpool at Anfield, it was snowing. Uh, and, it, and it did look like it did change the gameplay. The ball was a lot slicker. It moved a lot quicker than playing sort of in a, in a sunny day like this. But here, nice little move. Laid inside. Backhill pass. And then let it run across his body and, and just slots it in. And as you can see, the net moved like a proper net should. Last year, I think at E3, was it the nets looked like a, a brick wall? Or is it the one after? A little bit of clip in there if you're going to be nitpicking. But look, this is this is an, an early build. There's no way this is a build that's from last week. It's probably a month or so old. I had to get ready for this show. Um, so you can obviously expect a lot of polish to happen before the game does release at the end of August. Now, there will be a demo coming out. 21st uh, of July, they're going to be announcing it. That's not when it comes out. That's when they announce it. I would probably say early August, you guys will get a chance to play it. Is he on side here? Is he on side? Yes, he is. And Luis Suarez, I don't know why he's hit that from there. Absolutely ridiculous. Should have walked it in. But um, there's also going to be 40-odd stadiums in the game from launch. That's a big step up. So we've got more stadiums to play to play from. Um, and see there, Karius made a... Made a lunging dive and you can see the way he brought his hand away from the ball um just a little a little animation there brought his hand away from it if you didn't see it rewind it and watch it again but those little things those are the little attention to detail that Konami have gone to and you know what I'm really liking the look of the pace I'm really liking the way it's not on rails as much there's a little bit more freedom it seems you know the ball isn't just going directly to every single player's foot the shooting mechanics is something we're going to have to play around with because they've said now that no longer will every single shot be the same. If you haven't got the right balance, if your feet aren't planted, then you will not hit a decent strike. It's as simple as that. You can't be bending one in the top corner with your left foot if you're off balance. So you've got that. You've got the stamina. I mean, you can't tell with the stamina until you play a proper, I'd say, you know, 15-minute match. Then you'll see the difference between sort of players abusing the likes of Neymar, him getting tired having to make a substitution so i think they've ultimately gone for more of a simulation this year from what i've seen you know the fatigue's there uh harder to play football but you can play football harder to counter probably and a little bit of a dirty foul there main things for me a player switching i hope they fixed it uh it was a problem it was a shame because you just couldn't defend so if they fix that they fix the niggles they keep improving the game uh, you know, I think PES 2019 is, is shaping up quite nicely. Anyway, that's all for today. Quick video. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. Uh, we'll be back very shortly with more content. Lots to come, trust me. But until next time, subscribe for more and take care.